So in this video, I'm going to be going over the model view controller design pattern that we use when we're working with AngularJS. So what each component is and how they all work together. So let's get into it. So the first one is our model. So I have a couple of definitions here I'm going to go over. So the model directly manages the data, logic, and rules of the application, right? So we also have another definition that says stores data that are retrieved by the controller and displayed in the view. So what exactly does that mean? What are these two definitions getting at? Well, the way I interpret them is this way, where the data for our application is stored simply, right? Our model is just what exactly are we storing for our application, right? Because all that data is essentially the model for our application. So our model just holds all of the data that we save in our application. Just think of it like that. Our view. So first definition. Any output representation of information, such as a chart or a diagram, second definition, used to generate an output representation to the user. So my definition, what exactly does that mean? It's just what the user sees. The view, in our case, is our HTML and our CSS, right? It's what's projected to the user. That is the view in a model view design pattern. So our controller. Our controller accepts input and converts it to commands for the model or the view. Or sends commands to the model to update the model state, aka saves, right? It can, it can save the data. It can also send commands to its associated view to change the presentation of the model. What exactly does that mean to me? Where the programming work is done. So when we're working with AngularJS, essentially the controller is where all of our meat and potatoes is, right? Where all of our programming work is actually done. So the way this translates is this way. I felt like I pulled this image from Wikipedia and I thought it demonstrated what the way we work with the MVC in Angular pretty well. So essentially we're the user, right? The user gets a little bit confusing, uses the controller. Essentially what that means is when we type in some data, let's say into a form, then the controller then gets that data, manipulates it with all that programming work in the controller and does whatever it wants, right? Manipulates it. And when it manipulates it, it pushes it to the model, right? Because you're saving your data to the model. Well, the model then updates because we manipulated it from the controller. So like I said, it's the model's just where our data saved. And then when the model updates, our view changes, right? And then the user sees it. So essentially, the best way to think of it, if I could just break it down one more time for you, um, and we're going to see this all in work. So rather, we're going to see this when we work with Angular. So don't worry too much if it doesn't make sense. I just kind of wanted to take my best stab at breaking it down for you before we got into it. Essentially, what it means is as the user, you know, be accessing our website, our HTML. When we submit some stuff, it's going to go to the controller. The controller is going to manipulate it. And then when it does so, it's going to hit the model. And the model, in turn, is going to reflect back on the view, just like this picture shows. So hopefully that makes sense. Don't worry too much. We're going to do a lot of MVC work because, you know, Agile is all model view controller work. So I'll make sure I point out how each one is integrated when we're working with our code. 